basically what I'm going to do is, is lower the bed by about 10 centimetres because if you try and sit on it like this, you can't actually sit back. So what I need to do is, is lower it by about 10 centimetres. So it's currently about 58. I lower that by 10 centimetres. I'll take it down to about there. I think, fingers crossed. I've done a few measurements. It should allow me to um, then sit on it. Those are the measurements. So that's as it is now. Then hopefully once I've done I've lowered that by 10 centimetres I should be able to sit on it more like a sofa. That's the back cushion. I started off by unscrewing the bed from the van floor and then taking it out of the van. Next, I removed the sliding partition and cut into the horizontal frame to form the new shape so that the bed is able to fit around the wheel arch. I then took apart the bed so that I could cut each vertical leg piece to size. Here I am re-gluing and screwing the shortened legs back into place along with some horizontal pieces. In this clip I am cutting the legs on the sliding partition to size. Now that the height has been adjusted I shorten the length on the slats which are close to the wheel arch. Here you can see where the slats and frame form around the wheel arch. I sanded down the slats and frame to ensure they worked smoothly. Here I'm reattaching the batten which holds the sliding slats in place. I then refitted some end pieces to the bed frame.
before painting, I did some final prep work on the wood by just sanding down any rougher areas. These two pictures show the lowered bed frame in the van. In the next clip you will see how it works better when being used as a sofa. Now the bed is 10 centimetres lower which means I can sit pretty comfortably on it. So yeah, it's pretty nice now. Huh? And then the other thing Moving on to fitting a solar panel to my van, I started off by removing the cladding so that I could access where the bolts would come through the roof once I drilled the holes. The pre-drilled holes on the solar panels didn't work for the bridges on the roof of my van so I drilled four new holes to attach the brackets to. Once I'd attached the brackets to the solar panel, I positioned it on the roof and marked out the holes to drill. I proceeded to drill the holes. I made a mistake here by positioning the two rear holes over the ducting on the inside. This made it much trickier when bolting it on. If I would have moved the solar panel about an inch forward, it would have made it so much easier. Next, I bolted the panel into place with lots of silicon to ensure it was sealed where I had drilled the holes. Here I am drilling a hole to feed the wires through when they come out of the junction box. I then use lots of silicon to seal the junction box and attach it to the roof. The final step was to feed the wires from the roof down to the battery and the solar controller so that I could hook it all up and get it working. The solar panel wires run from obviously in the up above the cladding down there all the way down and then underneath into there where the battery is. 